Are German Shepherds prone to hip dysplasia? When it comes to dog breeds, German Shepherds are undoubtedly one of the most popular and beloved breeds around the world. Known for their tireless work ethic, intelligence, and loyalty, these dogs make excellent companions for pet owners of all ages. However, they also have a reputation for being prone to hip dysplasia, a condition that can cause a lot of pain and discomfort for the dog and can make it difficult for them to move around freely. So, are German Shepherds really more likely to develop hip dysplasia than other breeds? And if so, why? Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition that affects the hip joint in dogs, causing it to develop abnormally. This can lead to instability of the joint, as well as arthritis, and can result in chronic pain, lameness, and even the inability to walk. It is caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors and can occur in dogs of all ages, although it is more commonly seen in larger breeds. One reason why German Shepherds are thought to be more susceptible to hip dysplasia than other breeds is due to their genetics. Hip dysplasia is a hereditary condition and is more likely to occur in dogs whose parents or grandparents had the condition. German Shepherds have a relatively small gene pool, which means that certain genetic traits, including those that predispose dogs to hip dysplasia, are more likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. Furthermore, selective breeding practices that prioritize certain physical characteristics, such as a sloping back and hindquarters that are higher than their shoulders, may contribute to the development of hip dysplasia. In addition to genetics, environmental factors also play a role in the development of hip dysplasia. Overfeeding, lack of exercise, and injuries can all contribute to the development of the condition. German Shepherds are an active breed that require a lot of exercise, and when they don't get enough, they may develop joint problems. Furthermore, obesity is a major risk factor for hip dysplasia, and German Shepherds have a tendency to gain weight if not properly exercised and fed a balanced diet. So, are German Shepherds more likely to develop hip dysplasia than other breeds? The answer is yes, at least according to some studies. One study published in the Journal of Small Animal Practice found that German Shepherds had the second highest prevalence of hip dysplasia among all dog breeds, with only the Bulldog having a higher incidence. Another study published in the Veterinary Journal found that German Shepherds were overrepresented in cases of hip dysplasia. However, it should be noted that hip dysplasia can occur in any breed and that no breed is immune to the condition. If you are considering getting a German Shepherd, or if you already own one, there are several steps you can take to help prevent hip dysplasia from developing. First and foremost, it is important to choose a reputable breeder who performs hip screening tests on their breeding dogs. This will help ensure that your puppy is less likely to inherit hip dysplasia from its parents. Additionally, feeding your dog a balanced diet and giving them plenty of exercise can help keep them at a healthy weight and reduce their risk of developing joint problems. Finally, if you notice any signs of hip dysplasia, such as difficulty rising, limping, or reluctance to exercise, it is important to take your dog to the veterinarian right away. Early intervention can help prevent the condition from worsening and alleviate your dog's suffering. In conclusion, while German Shepherds do have a higher incidence of hip dysplasia than some other breeds, it is important to remember that any dog can develop the condition. By choosing a reputable breeder, providing your dog with plenty of exercise and a balanced diet, and seeking prompt veterinary care at the first sign of joint problems, you can help keep your German Shepherd healthy and happy for years to come.